All right, guys, this is live action. I'm not going to be making any cuts. I'm going to show you what happens when the string is hauled before that day comes and you got to take them. Paisley, will you walk this to that tree? We've got three old spot hogs. We've been growing them out, and today is the day. trailer in here about a week ago. I've been working with them. So if everything goes to plan, they'll pop right up in here. And there it is. As you can tell, as you can tell, that is a really easy thing. I know this has been the biggest problem for many people. When you get a pasture pig, you get them trained to the hot wire, you can get your trailer in here and train them to this. I mean, what did that take? Three minutes? So, no hassle, no broken hip from fighting them and getting rolled on the ground. When you take your hogs to the butcher, make sure you start training them at least a week ahead and honestly if they're not trained before that with you feeding them and going to different places that you want them to work you're going to have a hard time to begin with you're going to need a knee board you're going to have to fight them you're going to have a 350 pound animal below knee level that can flip you upside down so this is the way to do it like the bible says you train a child up in their ways and they stay with it it's the same with these animals when you train with them and work with them from a young age it saves you a lot of headache and heartache in the long run. All right, guys, we're headed to Wells and Jenkins down in Forest City. We want to see how much meat we get out of these hogs. We've got them loaded up. If y'all saw that, we had them trained from the start. Uh, it's really easy to work with them. Just feed a little bit at a time. Have them hop up in there every day, and they're good to go. So, good Lord willing, we'll make it down there before 9 o'clock. All right, so we just got them... So we just got them dropped off here at the butcher and everything went great we got let's see city ham you know sliced in half um fat back pork chops sausage we did chorizo and the mild italian and also a plain ground just so we can flavor it without it having added nitrates or whatever they might do to it um it went really well it's kind of sad to see them go but I'm also really happy because I'm going to be getting out bacon and pork chops from it. And, you know, it's what God made these animals to do. And as with man, we're supposed to be the people who take care of them and work with them and, you know, steward the land with them. So I've done my job with them. They've done their job. And uh, this is the reward. Um, but it is, you know, a little bit sad because you take care of them and you want the best for them. And this is a good place. They uh, hopefully will do it in a good way that's not too stressful to them eventually i'd like to be able to do home kills uh because it'll be much less stress not having to put them in a trailer but so far i'm happy with it and we'll see how it goes when i get the meat All right, guys, we've got all our meat here. I've got it weighed out, okay? We've got mild, hot Italian, chorizo, and just regular ground pork for our sausages. 
we got hams uh, cut up, we got, man, we got loin, we got bacon, over 50 pounds of bacon, we got fat back, we got pork chops, ham chops, all kinds of good stuff. But anyway, what I guesstimated was about 350 pounds, 350 pounds of sausage and pork, okay? And after we've calculated all this up, I weighed this, y'all see me doing that, Okay, I estimated 350 okay, pounds, and Riley's gonna help me here. So go ahead and start calculating this up, Riley. Okay. 27, okay. 34, okay. 36, okay. 57, okay. 21, good. 44, good. 53, good. 15, good. 25, good. 66, good. 47. Good. All right, what did that come up to? 425. 425? Wow. Got 70 pounds higher than I expected. So this was really good. From three pigs, we got 425 pounds of meat, fat bag, pork chops, sausage, bacon, all the good stuff. I'm really happy with it. 75 pounds higher than I was expecting. Let's do some more math here real quick. So 188, 178. What was the other one? 202, I think. 202. 202. Two fourteen, my bad. So one pig was one hundred eighty. Right. One eighty-eight. One seventy-eight. One seventy-eight and two fourteen. Two fourteen. This adds up to fourteen. Hold on. Twenty. Zero. And that's ten, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, five. So five hundred and eighty pounds was the hanging weight. This is what I paid for the butchering. It was like $1.35 for the hanging weight. And this is what it came in as, 580. I guesstimated we'd lose about 230 pounds. Uh, and that came up to the 350. And 230 was like, a, I think, a 30% number. Um, we actually got up to 425. So 580 minus 425 is going to be 180. And then minus 25 will be 160, 155. Right, Riley? I don't know. I think. So 155. So we ended up wasting 155 pounds from our hanging weight. Uh, and that's just bones and all the things that they throw away from the scrap, the skin, uh, the feet, the things that we didn't keep. That is 155 pounds. And we ended up getting 425. So we wasted, what percentage is that? I need a calculator here. Okay, here it is. Twenty-six percent. So twenty-six percent of the pig is automatically cut off the top of what we paid for from the butcher. Our total bill was $1,100, $1,173, 1000 yeah, $1,173. Um, that was to get it butchered and processed, packaged. It's really nice to have it in this clear pack. If your butcher doesn't do that and it's cheaper and they just use paper, it'll be okay. But we prefer this. Uh, this was a USDA facility also. So it costed a little bit more to do, but this gives us the freedom to legally sell this by packaged uh, pieces of meat. We can sell this to people. So we just got home with this. It's time to get it up in the freezer. I think you're watching this video. We got, we got 425 pounds of good pasture pork. It's really great. And if you're wondering what you're going to get, well, now you know. Have a good day. God bless you, and I'll see you around.